Hi friends, before learning this concept, if you did not learn already, can you please make sure you did do watch these videos and learn this concept first. So like terms at the same time, how to solve your linear equations, because this is your prerequisite to learn this concept. So if you did not watch these videos, watch it first and then you can come back and learn this concept. Thank you. Dear students, today I'm going to teach you how to solve two linear equations 2x plus 3y equal to 90 and y equal to 2x plus 1 by substitution method this is going to be very crucial for your learning by learning this method you can solve higher order thinking questions of primary school at the same time this is going to be foundation for your high school maths as well so let's get started guys so I do have two equations first one is 2x plus 3y equal to 19 and my another equation is y equal to 2x plus 1 I want to solve this by substitution method solving that means getting the value of x and y now to do that in substitution method your rule number one in one of the equation either your x or y needs to be by itself so here in this given two equation we can check or in one equation there is a y by itself like y is a subject y equal to 2x plus 2x plus 1 so in that my y is by this by itself so that value of y I can try to substitute in the second equation so my first equation 2x plus 3y equal to 19 I'm going to replace my y value with 2x plus 1 so then 2x plus 3y equal to 19 will become 2x plus 3 and y I'm going to substitute with 2x plus 1 so 3 into bracket 2x plus 1 equal to 19 because I'm substituting the value of y in another equation that's why it is also called substitution method now if you simplify you can see the first step is you can just expand the bracket so 2x as it is 3 multiplied by 2x will become 6x and 3 multiplied by 1 will become in the next step we can collect the like terms so 2x plus 6x is going to be 8x so our equation will turn up 8x plus 3 equal to 19. Now you can just do like plus 3 going to the side minus 3. So 8x equal to 19 minus 3, 8x equal to 16. Your x equal to 16 divided by 8, which is going to be 2. So your x value is 2. Once you get your x value, you can put it back in any of the equation to get your y value. But to make our life easy, I'm going to use the second equation, which is y equal to 2x plus 1. And I will substitute my x value 2. So y equal to 2 into bracket 2 plus 1. So y equal to 4 plus 1. So my y value is 5. So my final answer is x equal to 2 and y equal to 5. This is how we can solve by substitution method. Let us reinforce our learning of substitution method with one extra example. So here, I'm taking my two examples, so two equations. One equation is 4x minus 5y equal to 21. My second equation is x equal to 2y plus 3. Our rule number one or condition number one is Whenever you are using substitution method, either your x or y needs to be by itself in one of the equation. So as we can see here, in the second equation, which is x equal to 2y plus 3, my x is the subject, or x is by itself. So that works perfectly well. So that value of x, which is 2y plus 3, I'm going to substitute in my another equation so my another equation which is 4x minus 5y equal to 21 in that one I will substitute my x value 
with 2y plus 3. So my equation 4x minus 5y equal to 21 will change 4 into bracket. I'm going to replace, I'm going to substitute my x with 2y plus 3. So 4 into bracket 2y plus 3 minus 5y equal to 21. As you can see in this equation, I'm not making any change at all. Only my x value I'm substituting or replacing with 2y plus 3. Now we can expand the bracket. So 4 multiplied by 2y, which is 8y. And 4 multiplied by 3, which is 12. So 8y plus 12 minus 5y equal to 21. Now we can collect the like terms. So 8y minus 5y, which is 3y. So 3y plus 12 equal to 21. Plus 12 going to this side will become minus 12. So 3y equal to 21 minus 12. 3y equal to 9. Now time goes divided by. So y equal to 9 divided by 3. So y equal to 3. So I got my y values. But now you're going to get your x value as well. So you can substitute y equal to 3 in any of the equations. But to make your life easy, I'm going to use x equal to 2y plus 3. And I'll put down my value of y, 3. So x equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 3. Which is x equal to 6 plus 3. So my x equal to 9. So now I got the solutions. My x value is 9. My y value is 3. Congratulations, guys. You have learned and mastered your substitution method. Now, friends, as you have learned your substitution method, I'd love to give you one question for you to practice so you can practice your skill and you can master it. So I'm giving you one question which you can do by using pen and paper and get your answer and put down there in a comment. So your question is 3x plus 2y equal to 27. Again, I'm repeating 3x plus 2y equal to 27. And another equation is y equal to 2x plus 3. If you can please solve this by substitution method and put down your answer x equal to what and y equal to what in a comment and I will respond it back to you guys. Thank you very much.